a mass shooting with casualties at a crowded family food festival in Northern California. What's going on? What's going on? Is there fire? Right here. Right here. Come on. That is the moment when people realized someone was shooting and they started to run, very confused, just trying to get away. This is Gilroy, California, a city of about 50,000. It's about 30 miles south of San Jose, California. And we can now confirm that at least one person is dead and several others are wounded. Uh, as we've been saying, this is a large and popular food festival that has been going on for decades. It supports the local community and it's called the Gilroy Garlic Festival. Shots ringing out there at this festival, people running for their lives. Law enforcement are now telling CNN that they have recovered a firearm and rifle ammunition from the scene. All right, let's bring in our crime and justice reporter, Shimon Prokopes. Shimon, we just heard uh, that apparently uh, police have recovered a firearm and rifle ammunition from the scene. What could that indicate? Uh, it is it, well. First, it can indicate obviously that the suspect, the shooter here, may have left that behind. Uh, you know, we've gotten reports that the shooter was still at large, and that police uh, were still searching for him. This is why they're calling it still an active shooter situation, an active scene. We know the police are, are all over this place, l looking for evidence and also potentially looking for this shooter. So we don't have word yet, and I think that's important that the, the shooter is in custody or or, or that uh, they have him in any way. So that's the big question here, obviously is there's been other reports indicating uh, that there may have been more than one shooter, but sometimes you hear that a lot in these kinds of situations during the chaos. I think some of what we've heard from witnesses is very important here. This, this shooting seems to have happened next to a, a stage where uh, a band was performing. There was music. It came towards the end of this festival. The festival, according to the website, was ending at around 6 o'clock Pacific time. The band was still playing, and then the shots started ringing out. So I think that's going to be a, a key factor uh, for investigators. The other thing is what's still not certain. Was the shooter targeting someone, or was this completely random, and, and that the shooter uh, was just trying to create chaos, trying to just kill as many people as possible? Uh, the fact that they've recovered this rifle, we don't know what kind of style of rifle it is, but we have heard witnesses describe automatic gunfire, rapid gunfire. You heard that one witness saying about 30 gunshots, that the shooter may have reloaded, reloaded, a key fact here. Uh, so all of that still very much in the air. We have yet to officially hear from police as to exactly what happened here. We know the president tweeted. He said that the, that the shooter was still uh, wanted, was still on the run, uh, saying that it was still a very dangerous situation. So still a lot of unanswered questions. We know that one person, at least one person, has been killed and there have been several injured. We don't know the condition of those injured. Two of them we know were transported to a local hospital and we have yet to hear anything on their condition. But still, by all accounts, a very, very active situation on the ground there for police. Yeah, absolutely, because Gilroy police did put out a tweet uh, at least a half hour ago that they're working the story and there would be an update as soon as they could give it, but apparently they're extremely busy. They haven't done that. You were talking about the shooter. Uh, I did speak with one of the band members who was right there on the stage when the shooter came next to the stage and started firing. And to him, he couldn't really decipher any kind of demeanor from this person, but seemed to be shooting indiscriminately uh, with perhaps uh, not, no distinctive expression or focus from this shooter. Well, now we see that it's uh, just after 9 p.m. there, Shimon, uh, in Gilroy. So what are they up against now that darkness has fallen? Well, if they're searching for this shooter, that's going to be the key, the most important uh, thing for law enforcement right now is to try and apprehend the shooter. That, by far, is the biggest priority. Uh, you would think that by this point they have a handle on the injured, that they've been able to go through the scene, try to find anyone that's that's been injured and, and get them the aid that they need. That was something, in a lot of situations in these shootings, there's always a delay in getting to victims because you, when you're bringing in uh, EMS workers, EMS technicians, they don't necessarily have tactical gear to go into 
active shooter situation. So the police need to secure the area first, and then medical aid could go in and try and render aid. So that was definitely something that we saw here. It did delay some of the medics from, from getting in, uh, but we're not hearing a, a whole lot in terms of the injured. We know that at least one person uh, has been killed, and obviously there have been several injured, but we don't know the extent of those injuries. It could be just people running from the scene. Uh, it does sound like yes, there Simone, was a... We, we have heard there 11 are confirmed injured. We do know that okay. much. Yeah, so we don't know the extent of, of their injuries. And then, you know, in these situations, you, people start running from the scene, they fall, uh, people trample each other. You, you always get that in these types of situations. But the big thing, obviously, now is, is where's the shooter? Uh, is he dead? Is he still on the run? Do police have him? And the other thing, obviously, is going to be the question of motive. What happened here? Was this shooter targeting someone and then there was individuals were caught in the crossfire? Or was this just completely random, someone who went into this area knowing there was going to be thousands of people here and open fire? Uh, that's still the big question, and we, yet, we don't yet know the answer to that. Right. And to hear the band uh, tell me that there were thousands of people around them, so that shows uh, many easy targets for this gunman. I've also been given this information, so one person dead, multiple injured. They've been shot uh, in the hospital uh, with gunshot wounds, that, uh, and the people that we know about are in serious to fair condition. At least it's not critical at this juncture. All right, Shimon, stand by. We are getting new sound from another eyewitness from our affiliate on the ground, KGO TV. When did you realize that your cousin, your 12 year old cousin, was shot? Uh, well, when we were almost like in a fence, we were really close to a fence, we just saw a hole in the light and she was crying. So we just found out. So it shot. sounds like she got shot while you were running away from the gunfire and the gunman? Yeah, for, probably. We aren't sure. Probably. I know that you said you were in the woods at some point. This was behind the garlic festival, correct? Yeah. yeah. How did you eventually get help? How did she end up here at the hospital? Was there an ambulance that took her? Was there help waiting for all of the victims? Uh, uh, well, we went to hide in the woods and then we just waited a little bit, but we knew our family was going to come at some point. We were just waiting and she got out to find help from our family. And then a family member drove her to an ambulance, is that correct? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Was she saying anything to you guys? Yeah, she was crying. She was saying she was in a lot of pain, um, but not really anything else. Uh, and to call her mom. And I know that her mom, her parents are at the hospital right now. Yeah. Okay. As are your parents, whom I've spoken to. Um, this is not what you expected when you came to visit your family, I think, no. needless to say. I was crazy. I, I wasn't expecting it. You're very calm right now. Um, imagine it was absolutely terrifying, though. Well, I was calm, but yeah, it was really like, it was freaky. It was just. I, wa I was in shock. I, th I think most of the people we've been talking with are in shock. We want to bring in another eyewitness on the phone for us now is Lex De La Heron. Uh, Lex, thanks so much for talking with us. You were on the ground and you were wounded. Take us through what happened. So I originally uh, was walking away as the music was winding down and I turned around for a quick moment and I hear, hear uh, the, the gunshot sounds. At first I thought it was uh, fireworks, um, but a man behind me screamed that those are real, those are real. And um, I just froze like a deer in the headlights. And all of a sudden, um, blindsidedly, this piece of unknown shrapnel came flying towards me and it struck me in the, the forehead. Uh, luckily, um, it wasn't anything serious, just left a bruise behind, but right after that I just started running and I was looking behind to make sure that, you know, my family was with me and I saw people jumping over the fence, people trampling over each other. Um, it was just widespread chaos um, and it was just unbelievable uh, having to, you know, experience a traumatic experience like this. I can understand. As you ran, uh, did the gunman continue to shoot? Yeah, yeah at first there was an initial six firing and there was a brief pause. And after that pause, the gunman resumed firing. Um, but after that, um, I didn't hear any more gunshots at that time. How far did were you able to run to get away? 
I ran as quick as I could. I ran about maybe uh, 30 feet away from where the, the firing was happening. Um, and I was running with the crowd towards where the buses were. And luckily, a bus was there, and um, I was able to get on there uh, quickly because, I, you know, in those situations, you don't know whether or not you're being chased or, you know, what, what, what the gunman is doing. And, you know, there's so many things that were just running through my mind. That, but, you know, I tried staying as calm as I could. Oh, you, you sound like you were, Lex. But uh, what about the people around you? Were people screaming? Uh, what, yeah, what people was... were screaming. Uh, I saw multiple people jumping over a fence. Someone tripped over a fence. Uh, I saw a couple people trip, too. Um, but people were definitely in shock. There was a, a, a large silence. Um, and, I, you know, some people were visibly shaking. And it was just a time of just complete shock um, and trying to process everything that just happened.